All right, you're looking live at the president. He is speaking in Boulder City, Nevada. Uh, the president is kicking off his energy policy tour over at Copper Mountain Solar One. Uh, but not without a little bit of controversy. You see this plant received roughly $50 billion in tax credits and it currently employs all of 10 people full time. Republican Congressman Darrell Issa doing the math doesn't like the final figures. Um, but Congressman, in the course of those remarks, the president more or less saying, you know, uh, it's time to, you know, continue uh, doubling down on solar. It's very, very promising. Less so uh, oil. Um, what do you, you know, yesterday we had Secretary Chu before our committee, and we had to point out and push and push for him to officially defund a $1.4 billion program that had failed to meet its stimulus deadline, partially because they were using Solyndra uh, uh, and First Solar assets, if you will, that were no longer available. More importantly, program after program we showed were not innovative, didn't meet the laws passed by an all-democratic uh, House and Senate. And yet the, uh, the secretary to gave himself an A on the handling of the program. I saw that. We then, and then we asked him about, about gasoline prices that went from $1.80 to $3.80 under his watch. He gave himself an A. The only thing he's done on oil is take credit for what has been done on private lands in spite of his reducing oil exploration on public lands. So he doesn't have the credibility to say, I've done everything I can and the prices have still risen. Just the opposite. He's done everything he could to show that America wouldn't make the investments in oil self-sufficiency. And then he wants to say, but it's not my fault. Right. Well, there's no question he has favorites. Remember, cap and trade was something he tried to push through that would have necessarily added a great deal of money, probably over a dollar a gallon to the, the, the cost at the pump today. It would have added cost to natural gas. It would have added huge cost to home heating and electricity if it was from coal. And as you know, 51% of our electricity comes from coal. This president hates carbon, except the fact is that the American public gets its energy and will for the foreseeable future predominantly from fossil fuels, and he's not doing anything to make sure we have an ample supply to keep the price down.